All right, Jambo, DJ, Scaro, Quaid, Isla, Shed, hope you guys are doing good. Yoshi, thank you for the resub, hope you're good too. Earlier I was playing with Kiddo, he was having fun laughing, and the baby cried, and his face dropped, and said, go on, daddy, and walked away. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's crazy.
<clears throat> Josh, hope you good too. All right, thank you. Yeah, good. I stayed up late still trying to get that saw review unblocked, and then once I finally did, I'm like, fuck it, I'm not setting an alarm. So I only woke up like two hours ago. <laughs> Okay. But it got done nonetheless. Oh, well, balls, well, yeah, doing good. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong count. There we go. Uh, Lighthouse Lane. Browse and double tap. Yeah. I wonder if there'll be anything good on the second half, but... this mission correctly. I think it's just a bunch of running around. Very true, Josh. So Millville wants ballast, does he? Uh, still asking me for that last bushel. Uh, I'll give it to you if you can clear five micromanagers off the street. Okay. Damn, there's not an invasion. I was hoping there would be. How uh, late did it finish? Uh, it finished past midnight Eastern Time. I think it, it finished at like 1 a.m. Eastern Time, I think, actually. Yeah, brutal for the Yinzers. Imagine stay until 1 a.m. for your team to fucking lose. <laughs> Do be dodging. Quite doubt, yeah. I mean, considering how late they played already, I wonder if, if it had gone like another hour or so, I wonder if they would have canceled it or rescheduled. Of course there aren't any more. Who 
guys are all lava. That's probably why. But they might, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, if it had gone a little longer, they probably would have. But, yeah, you know, I don't think it's gonna happen, Quaid, but I gotta say, I, I've, I, I think, it, I, I do wonder if Sammy actually has a chance tonight. You know? Because I was thinking about the possibility of him walking into Saudi with the belt. It'd be pretty crazy. I don't think it's a good chance he has, but I feel like he might have one. Okay, so... Let me go to a different district. Since there's no... If Goldberg goes to go, yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. <laughs> but also, I wasn't necessarily thinking Goldberg screw job. I was more thinking like Sammy being Gunther's kryptonite, you know, since he already beat him at Mania. Somewhere along, along those lines. You know what, actually, instead of doing that, let's do this instead. They put the poster out? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah, having it, have, having it be that way would be... I don't know about that. I think it'd be better of him, you know, just beating Goomfer again and being his kryptonite. And then Goomfer gets it back at, like, Survivor Series or something. Cody possible game, but yeah, it'd be interesting. The crowd reaction would at least. That'd be that'd be pretty nuts, Josh. <laughs>
By the way, did I ever review, um, did I ever review see Julia's, uh, recent Instagram post today? Arn Anderson's probably, yeah. <laughs> No? Oh, this is it. Would legitimately be so funny if he just, like, unprovoked just pulls up of a Glock. <laughs> Also, she's been in the U.S. like four weeks, and she's already gone full Florida woman. I bet they're happy they're in Denver right now as well, considering the fucking hurricanes going on, speaking of which. My dad's pretty handy with these. That should be Lexus King's arc, because right now he's like struggling with not being his dad. He should just embrace it and pull, just pull up with a fucking gun. <laughs> Goes after every bald man NXT for real. As for like, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Who is the top bald man in NXT? I I honestly have no idea. sound. I'm trying to think, does NXT have a top bald guy? I feel like everyone has hair down there. Yeah, they called Corbin up. Uh, like Fred, hope you're doing good. Let's see. I'm looking at the roster page right now. Uh, Eddie Forp is, has a shaved head. He's not really bald, though. Yeah, this doesn't bode well for the future of bald wrestlers. I don't think they... They don't have any down there. Everybody's got hair. John Spears has the little tiny faux hawk thing. It's about as close as you're gonna get. Yeah, I don't think they actually have any, but like, but he was like straight bald. Yeah, I read that too, Quit. That's pretty crazy, honestly. Ushigoroshi'd himself into a shoot, brother. 
Sean, how are you? Good you yet, Uga. No, they killed the crocodile. You also got some sleep for once, nice. How's Toontown Grants? Doing alright. Yeah, it's a shame Bronze's body's been failing him. It's also insane that he had a crazy-ass match despite that. Very Matt and like the previous nights I almost had none. How's the dog going? Dog's good now, very slowly, slowly getting less scared of cars. That's good. She was good on our trip to Nashville. Last saw it, she had yeah. Two minor fights, my father's in law dog. Uh oh. Need some grime help? Nah, I'm good. Blade, are you? Finish game of Yahtzee, lost brutal. You live by the Yahtzee, you die by the Yahtzee. Glad you enjoyed Jigsaw, bro. Like. Again, he could have gotten away with it, but he laser cuttered him. <laughs> like, if you had just not laser cuttered the dude, you could have gotten away with it. Just shoot him in the head. Five stories here? Wishful thinking. Probably not gonna get it on this straight. That four might be as good as I get. Let's do that. Oh, is that the plan? Plan they were gonna do Jigsaw 2 instead? Dogs bonked her head on the can. Oof. <laughs> Concussion. They're writing and they're gonna call to write Chris Rock a soft film. 
<laughs> They're like, guess what, buddy? That's pretty funny, actually. I, w I do wonder when these conversations they're having with Goldberg started, though, because, like, he was shitting on them just, like, recently. <laughs> so these must have been very recent developments, Triple H getting this done. What's up, Katie? Climber jobs as you doing good. Like my CV, it scared me. I've been working IT for 10 years now. Are you looking to do something different, or are you just looking for a higher paid IT job? Santa Slay too, bro. I'd watch it. Most things, but I teach you to be higher paid. Part single, got you. The Intuit Dome. What is that? I feel like I know what that is, but I also don't. That's where the Clippers are going to play. It's starting this season. Yeah, that shit's brand new. It, it actually just officially opened last August, so... Yeah, it's like new, new. Yeah, right really quick. There's like USBs on every seat, that's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, Steve Ballmer has a Steve Ballmer owns the Los Angeles Clippers now. So, and the Clippers had shared an arena with the Lakers for the longest time, but they wanted their own arena. So that's why they built that. Oh, whoops! I should have used cloud there.
I think I just ran raw over here. Run some small ray next Monday called the O2. <laughs> How far am I in the next sport gag? Oh, almost there. That's a free story. I don't think I'm finding more four stories. Two-story, two-story. Might I do right? Yeah, I don't know. Three stories, two-story. I'm sure there's some logistics behind it that we don't understand, but I have no idea. There's a four-story. why I'm a Twitch mod. <laughs> Bad talking to people in America, sometimes people are so beguiled by my accent they don't realize they're talking to an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, seems like what it's not a bad number for Friday night cable. The newest rare fifty piece in circulation, I have none. Brutal.
There's a lot of invasions going on right now. No micromanagers. Q16. Oh, I'm just seeing this quite the potential of uh, the two hour Raw's effect on the women's division is being felt. They announced a uh, 10 woman tag tonight <laughs> Shayna, Sonya, Zoe, Alba, and Isla versus. Or Ira. What's her name? Isla Dawn? The Isla Dawn. What's her name? Versus, La versus Lyra, Katana, Caden, Natalia, and Zelina. And a good old fashioned fuck them, just put them all in one match match. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? It's gonna be even worse if it doesn't get any time. But, like, that match is a prime example as to why this fucking Liv Rhea feud needed to end. Because nobody on Raw gets booked properly aside from Liv and Rhea. The only other woman who's over is Eo, and that's because Eo gets herself over by being awesome. The SmackDown Women's Division gets booked a lot better. I mean, Kyrie is kind of over by association from EO, and Bird Lady's kind of over. They like the entrance, but they don't—they haven't really done much with Bird Lady. To be honest, man, they really need Becky back. <laughs> like, they—they—they they, they need Becky back kind of bad. I'm a Becky, but yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'm afraid of. I could use Tiffany, they get the yeah, I mean, that'd be good, but she's already got a, a feud set up with Naya. With Naya, if you get cold feet about turning Tiffany babyface, though. Then you could do it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. So I'm just getting some health back on my other team right now.
Now they've also added Raquel Rodriguez to the mix, so who the fuck knows. Good for Raquel, I guess, just in the sense that she's going to get booked. <laughs> True. Also, I want. I mean, when you think about it, that would also be the um, perfect match for uh, Tiffy to cash in the double championship match. She does what? Do yeah, I mean that. That's 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 the, the thing. She could make it interesting and like, like tease which one she's gonna go for. And like, you think it's gonna be Naya, and then she fucking plot twists it and cashes it on Liv or whoever. I don't know. I think it could be interesting. But I guess we'll see. I feel like you have to do something to spice up that Naya Liv match because it's weird because like. Naya versus Liv. I like Liv. And even though I don't like Naya, I won't deny Naya's been a lot better since coming back. But for whatever reason, that just sounds like the worst match ever. You know? <laughs> like, like I, just, I have no interest in seeing that. Would that also make her the crown jewel champion? That's a really good question, honestly. I think it's maybe just because, like, the dynamic doesn't really work between Le Liv and Naya right now. Because they're, li they're like the top two heel women in the whole company, aside from Roxanne Perez. You know? But, like, and, and like, usually when you have a heel versus heel match, somebody has to work babyface, but who's the crowd gonna cheer? The Saudi crowd's unpredictable, but, like, I can't see either of them being cheered. Liv definitely won't be if she has Dominic with her. You leave Dominic in the back, maybe. One hour down, eleven to go. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, Katie, I'll see you.
Well, I was kind of... We were talking about this earlier, Blade, but, like, I, I think Sammy kind of has a chance. Not not because of Goldberg, but because two reasons. One, imagine Sammy walking into Saudi as world champion. I could really see it. And two... It would build the interesting story of Sammy being Goomfer's kryptonite. And I feel like Goomfer would maybe get it back at, like, Survivor Series or the Rumble. But I, I think they're, honest to God, I think there's an, an interesting story in Sammy winning. I think he has a chance. I don't think it's actually going to happen, but I think he has a chance. Watching your got a uh, war butter there because I missed you streaming. I, I was surprised that was the end of the game. I didn't think I was, like, close to the end of the game at all. For some reason. Be the first time world title- that title? Yeah. That title's only changed hands at WrestleMania and SummerSlam so far, actually. Second one feels a lot longer. Yeah, I might start that later this month. That wasn't really, that wasn't a title change, though. I'm gonna replay this soon. We gotta play Horizon Zero Dawn, too. Because we gotta play the ultimate remaster, brother, brother. I'm talking about Lego Zero Dawn, all that too, yeah. When does that come out? What's the fucking date on that? Phase out? Is it? No. No, November 14th. So, in about five weeks. The pre-orders just went live, though, a couple days ago. Yeah, true quite. I like the Jey Uso one last week was pretty good. Was that last week? Or was that two weeks ago? Two weeks ago it was. You getting fucked on ass for it. Speaking of the Horizon Zero Dawn gimmick, I gotta... I gotta make sure I still have a PlayStation account. <laughs> Who's J-Face tonight? What do you mean? Is he doing an open challenge or something? Oh no, he's facing the woods. That's right. He's facing the woods.
I don't think it was a, a terrible promo. I, I just think it was. I just think he was a bit overwhelmed. Cindy is a bit emotional. He got it back by the end, though. I love Woods to win that. He definitely won't, but it, it, I think it could be a good match, actually. Woods, I think, is somehow constantly underrated as a wrestler. Here's a Jake and get over SmackDown and join the family drone. I think they'll probably just blur of a brand split. They usually just do, do that around Mania season anyway. Sheamus and Dunn are having a number no DQ match tonight. It should be good again. Yeah, I don't know. I've been interested to see how much they, they drag it out. When is, like, the... Well, here's the thing, Quay. When's the official New Day anniversary? Because, like, that's probably when they're going to do it. If they're going to do it. November 28th is the anniversary. The quickest show after that is December 1st. I wonder if they can really drag this two more months, though. I guess you could do the turn now and then have them have like a one-on-one -on -one match on December 1st. Should never underestimate Triple H's ability to drag something out, though. Because he will. <laughs> for better or for worse, he will. Sell those. So I'm trying to think. I've got Yakuza going right now. But, like, what else do I have going? Like, because, like, I have Assassin's Creed, but I don't, like, actually want to play that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I've got Ghostwire Tokyo on the wheel. Am I forgetting something? Oh, right! I played Shadow of the Tomb Raider once, like, a month ago, and I haven't picked it up since then. Okay, well, we should put that in the weekend rotation, then. I almost... I, I fucking forgot about Shadow of the Tomb Raider, to be honest. Yeah, Minecraft, too, yeah. That's his booking weakness. Yeah, he does. He does drag stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. The livery thing is currently an example of it not working. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, obviously we'll go a lot longer than this tomorrow. We'll be back on Marble schedule tomorrow. Uh, follower count is at fifty-five twenty-six. Thank you to James for the follow-off stream. By the way. I appreciate it. Uh, and thank you to Yoshi for the resub. Different James. What? Survivor Series on it? Yeah. yeah. It could do. Um... 
some uh, it's a lot of Toontown streamers today. Oh, I haven't rated Poffect in a while. She's doing a VIP. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. For those of you guys who don't know, I stream every single day, so I'll be right back on here tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Can I guess?